Hey guys, and today I'm going to be talking about The Flash Season 5. I'm going to be talking about how to fix The Flash because Season 4 wasn't that good. It wasn't the worst, but it definitely wasn't the best either. So here's my ideas on how to fix it. Now, firstly, I wanted to talk about the character of Wally West. Wally has had a hard time in the Arrowverse this year. First, he goes off The Flash, then he goes to Legends, then he goes back to The Flash, and... He has been confirmed to be in one episode of The Flash next season, and then he's not going to be a series regular on Legends Season 4 or The Flash Season 5. So he's not going to be a series regular on any of them. Um, so that, I guess that means no Wally next year, except for one episode of The Flash, and maybe a few of Legends, which is kind of annoying. But if Titans is in the Arrowverse, then God, I hope Wally goes to Titans, but... It probably isn't, so goodbye, Wally. Caitlin Snow has also had a bit of a hard time this uh, year in the Arrowverse because she isn't Killer Frost anymore. She lost her powers. And, well... Now, I didn't really like the character of Killer Frost this season of The Flash because she was basically an anti-hero. I mean, she is supposed to be an anti-hero, but... She was more on the good side, which kind of annoyed me because she's a villain in the comics. But what I think they should do is they clearly don't want Caitlyn to be Killer Frost all the time, the writers, because they're afraid. So why don't they just keep her as Caitlyn? And I know I said I didn't want her as Caitlyn, but just bring in another Killer Frost. There have been a bunch of different Killer Frosts in the comics, and Caitlyn Snow is only one of them. So why don't they just keep... Caitlyn as Caitlyn, and then bring in another Killer Frost, like maybe Louise Lincoln or Crystal Frost, one of those two. Um, I would rather see Louise Lincoln, though, but why don't they just do that? That would be awesome. Now, I know a lot of people want me to talk about this, and I am going to talk about it, and it's Iris West. She was really, really bad this season. She was fishing sentences. She was a member of Team Flash. She shouldn't be that what I think they should do with her is have her have two roles, maybe three, in the Flash Season 5. Um, the first role is full-on journalist. I would like to see Iris just become a full-on journalist. And, yeah, just, yeah. I want her to become a journalist. The second one is keep her as Barry's love interest, but just don't have all that drama. Just have her be married to Barry, and then, yeah. And the third role is a minor, minor role, and that is a member of Team Flash. She can be a member of Team Flash in this season, but just not that much, not as much as she was in season um, uh, four. She could, be, I think, she should be a member of Team Flash, like how she was in season two. That fit good that role to her. Don Allen. Now for the next season, I would just like her. To be not have that big of a role, just be have her Barry train her now and again. Um, yeah, just have Barry train her now and again and just be there and have some. I think she should have some moments with Iris and they should explain why she, um, she, uh, um, why she didn't visit Iris or anything and why she ignored Iris. I think she should have more moments with Iris than Barry. But she should, of course, have some moments with Barry. But it would just be really cool to see a speedster like that in the future. And maybe in season 6 or 7, they can, like, say she can be pregnant. And then in season 7, maybe, Impulse can come from the future. And that is Dawn's daughter, so it's kind of like family tradition. But, I don't know, just an idea. And then there's a character that I would love to see appear on The Flash next season. And that is Sue Dibney. Of course, her name won't be Sue Dibney yet, but Sue Dibney in the comics is, of course, married to Ralph Dibney. So maybe introduce Sue in uh, season five of The Flash and have them get married in season, have Ralph and Sue get married in season six or seven. Um, Sue and Ralph are like the, uh, Sue is the go-to love interest of Ralph in the comics. So definitely introduce Sue this season of The Flash. Also introduce August Hart this season. Just introduce him as a cop. And yeah, introduce him as a cop. And I think 
Joe should retire from being a cop, and he should go away and live with Cecile. I think these two should be much more in the background next season. Um, but yeah, they're they're awesome. Um, but they should go away and live with Jenna Marie West. I think that was her name. I can't remember. Um, yeah, so we would see. And we don't need, um, Joe as the go-to cop person anymore because we have August Hart. Another thing I want to see for the next season is a, a, t a good tone. Like, seriously, in this season, they tried to just, season four, they tried to force a light tone on us because they, they wanted, the uh, fans wanted a light tone. I think season one had the perfect tone for a Flash TV show, the perfect tone. And season two was a little bit too dark. I feel like season two was a little bit too dark. I actually feel like it was darker than season three. Season three was dark too, but not as dark as season two in my opinion. Um, and in season four, they just tried to force this light tone on us, which just didn't work coming off such a dark season. They should have had... Season 4 be kind of dark, but kind of funny still. Kind of like a little bit darker than season 1. And the main villain of season 5 has been teased to be Cicada, and it probably is Cicada. But um, I actually want Cicada to like be like Alchemy, be a villain for half of the season, and then have another villain that I'll talk about later be the main villain. So, Cicada, I think I have a pretty cool idea for what Cicada could do this season. So, basically, there's this person, Cicada emerges, and there's this person that Cicada wants to revive, but we don't know who the person is. So, Cicada's trying to revive this person, and, um, uh, just have that as the main plot for the first nine episodes. And he's trying to revive this guy, and in the mid-season finale, he succeeds in reviving the man that he wants to revive. And we see that the man he wants to revive is... Eddie Thon. And I want Eddie Thon to be Cobalt Blue. So, Eddie Thon as Cobalt Blue, what do you guys think? It's not my idea, but I really like the idea. So, right after Eddie Thon is revived, he kills, he murders Cicada. And I don't care what you do, writers, just make it somehow that... Eddie Thon has speedster powers. I don't care. Make make up something on how Eddie Thon can have speedster powers. But Eddie Thon is Cicada, and he is... I mean, Eddie Thon is Cobalt Blue, and he is the villain for the rest of the season. Now, the reason that I don't want Godspeed... Of course I want Godspeed, but I just think Cobalt Blue would work better this season. Um... And I said earlier, introduce August Hart, and yes, you can still introduce him, but just have him become Godspeed in season uh, six. Just have it maybe instead of... So in the comics, right, Cicada can take away metahuman powers. Maybe reverse that in the show so Cicada can give metahuman powers. And maybe he can give the powers to Eddie Thon. He can give Eddie Thon speeds to powers, and... Maybe accidentally he can give August Hart speedster powers. And maybe in this season we can see Barry training August Hart and Don Allen to becoming, like, new speedsters. And that can lead into season six, where August eventually turns on Barry. Now, there have been two released audition tapes for Cicada. The first one is this guy who obviously has the looks of Cicada. And then there's this guy who, um, he doesn't really have the looks of Cicada in the comics, but after seeing his audition, I think what he did with the character was interesting. I'll, of course, leave the audition tapes for these two in the comments, or in the description. But I think either of these two would be very interesting to see on screen. But, in case it's not clear, I want Cobalt Blue as the main villain for The Flash Season 5. I just think that would fit best for the story, the characters, and where the showrunners are going. 
I would also like to see more of the accelerated man. Maybe we get to we get to we got to see him very briefly in season four, but maybe have like one episode in season five where accelerated man and Barry team up to defeat like some villain from Earth nineteen. Maybe Gypsy can arrive too. I would love to see like a Gypsy Flash and accelerated man team up. But other than that, I. Th- don't know what else to say. I mean, I loved Cisco's storyline this season. I'm glad Harry's leaving because he really sucked in season four. Oh, wait, there's one more thing. Um, Jay Garrick did ma- mention that he was training a new speedster to become uh, the Flash on his Earth, and I think that should be Avery Ho. Avery Ho is a character in the comics, a speedster, and I think they should make her um, the the girl that Jay is training to become the next Flash on the, on Earth 3. I think that should be Avery Ho, and maybe make it that it's Jay's daughter, but, yeah, maybe make it Jay's daughter if you want, but I think Avery Ho would be probably the best choice. I don't know what else to say, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say. And that is basically how I think the Flash season five could be awesome and how the flash could get fixed what do you think about the flash and do you, how do you think it could be better next season leave it in the comments below and thanks for watching bye